Good evening. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I'm so happy to be with you tonight. It's always a thrill to be able to bring to you new and different and exciting music. And we certainly have that with us tonight. So um, the story that goes with this musician is a little different. He was looking to get information about Don't Pass the Guitar Again, which was last weekend. And um, of course, all the musicians were chosen for last weekend show and blah 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 but I, I checked out his stuff and I was like why don't you come do my why don't you come do my TV show and so he graciously um, agreed to do that so you're gonna be blessed I'm already blessed his music is phenomenal sit back and relax welcome into your heart and into your home Kyle Fleming thank you dot um, hi, everybody. Um, my name is Kyle Fleming, and uh, these are my songs. Um, I'll start off with a tune that I wrote um, a little while ago. Um, this song is basically just a hug in sonic form. So uh, it's a song called Feel Again. Embedded heart bleeds 
song called feel again um yeah that was uh i wrote that for a friend of mine that was going through a really hard time and uh but it just applies to anyone going through anything and i think that's appropriate especially with everything that's been going on over the past couple of years so so we're going to switch gear
That's that's a work in progress. I, yeah, the, I, I'm changing the way that I play guitar quite a bit. The next, the new songs are going to be really cool if I ever finish them. Uh, anywho, uh, so where were we? <laughs> Catch her walking out for one last time Through hazy eyes he wants to drive on through the glowing horizon He woke up on the porch at half past nine Cleared his head half past noon Picked up his guitar and played her favorite tune She took the only love he knew But not his needle and his spoon So he finally cleared his head at half past noon Staying old around quarter to three The land spoke of angst and tarnished memories And how the only lines he wanted Were the ones you couldn't read So he found a tear staying old around quarter to three Shallow sunlight hit at ten past four Clearing only empty bottles piled on the floor He sat there crumpled in his chair Staring at the door As the shallow sunlight hit at ten past four Branches high and jumped, but his feet never touched the ground. Oh, no, 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 no. So he hung out by the lake as the sun went down. So he hung out by the lake as the sun went down.
was never touched the ground. Um, I swear I was in a good place in my life when I wrote that song, but um, I swear I was very happy when I wrote that song. I don't know how that came out, but... Um, so this is, a, this is a newer song that I wrote um, about... Uh, I write about relationships more frequently than I should. <laughs> and this is about a little summer fling that I had with somebody uh, a couple years ago. And we actually recently uh, reconnected and it's been like, it's been nice to just be friends with her. So um, she used to dye her hair this absolute alien shade of red, which is where the name of the song comes from. So um, uh, this is a song called Auburn Flame. <laughs> trees and the breeze and sand the blue sky and blaze and then summer eve and my freezing heart to believe and quit beating in place for free from the seizure of evil embraces even if most beginnings face and end But I still remember when We finally learned to smile again And set off for adventure hand in hand And though that road would fade away This play replaced the pain Maybe I wish we could have stayed
I like that. Um, I do too. <laughs> I like all your songs. Thank you. Okay. Um, So um, this is another tune. This is a this is a song that came about um, a little differently than most songs that I write. This actually started as a poem, and then I liked the way that the poem started to be structured, and it worked well. And then I started singing a melody to it, a cappella, and I determined what key that was in. And then I just started to um, sort of make chords that fit with it, and then turn it into a song. Um, uh, this is a tune called uh, All Along, and it's about, you'll figure it out what it's about. Don't get mad if she's been drinking and she's feeling blue. Hell in my time, and know that I've had a glass or two. To our delight, we hardly fight. Seems like I only do things right. Strange new world I never ever knew. I don't bother sweating all the little things. All my dumb thoughts stay inside where they belong. Just sit back and feel the magic on the break of every dawn. I want to love her the way I should have loved you all along. He's there to calm you if the nightmares come. I hope he knows how lucky he is to be the one. He gets to hold you tight, kiss you goodnight, wake to your face in the morning light. Cherish who you are and what you will become. And I hope you give him butterflies just by being you. And I hope he's patient, confident, and strong. Hope that he don't replicate the ways that I went wrong And I hope he loves you The way I should have loved you all along We still make love and go to sleep But I don't dream about her And I still hesitate to say I couldn't live without her And she don't ask about you This is your some crazy old But I'm torn cause I'd be smiling Saw you at my door When you're tucked up in his arms Safe from the storm As I'm clinging to her body Trying to keep warm She said sleep tight Turns out the light But there's a feeling I can't fight It should be perfect But it feels colder than before Sometimes I see your eyes when she looks up at me Your memory still seeps into my songs And I know you don't give a damn that you're long, long gone I think I still love you The way I came to love you All along
so the ending a little bit on that one. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, this was a song that I wrote for somebody that meant an awful lot to me, and yeah, uh, this song is called The Possibility of You. I'm free falling the day after each new tired day Trapped in my decay Giving up on love Just like fairy tales and dreams The only magic that I ever knew the Puffs and pixie dust and Enchanted beans To kill my reality Trust happiness after long and turgid years when every prospect always led back to more and continue to all of that fear disappeared too fast to be true.
today. If you go, I hope you use them right to help more poor souls on their way. Hope it never fades. Even when time is through. Possibility in view Awesome. Thank you. You want to come talk to me? Sure. That'd be awesome. So while Kyle is getting over here, why don't we talk about downtown? Downtown New London, mom and pop shops, owner owned businesses, not big box stores. Listen, the holidays are upon us. We need to think about what we're going to do for people throughout the holidays. Let me tell you some things that are good ideas. Local artists, local artisans, small owner-owned, not big box, stores where you can get wonderfully handcrafted and close in your neighborhood, close in your neighborhood gifts. I'm just saying, if we put the money in our neighborhoods, the money stays in our neighborhood. You want your community to stay financially solvent? Spend your money in your neighborhood with people that will also spend their money in your neighborhood. Okay? Let's talk to Kyle. Hi. Hi. I preach. That's all good. I preach about that. Preach like, away. yeah. I, I love stuff like this. I, I just. It, it's important. Yeah. No. It re no. It really is. I. Yeah. You have to put your. Is it not on? Yeah, we got one on. One on. We both have one on. Oh, technical difficulties of this show today, but welcome. Thank you. Thank you for We're having so me. glad you're here. Your music, wow, your heart must be like made of squishy. If I have one, hopefully. You have a squishy heart. <laughs> you, your love songs are are truly that. One of your love songs, one of your songs, um, actually invoked thoughts of past loves and I'm not sure that's a good thing for my wife to hear but yeah yeah I, I, I write about relationships more than I should but I more than why. you should well you have to go to what gets you to write so it's just a catalyst for me for some reason so I don't know well, because you have a squishy heart. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your musical history. When did you start playing music? Um, I've only been playing out, like, I only recently started singing a few years ago. Okay. And um, I uh, only recently started playing gigs and, like, playing out around New England just a couple of years ago. And... Uh, but I started taking piano lessons when I was five. See, and I knew there was some classical training in there. Th there isn't any. Ex it's, I'm, it sounds more impressive than it is. Like, I'm, I'm, I started, I've been acquainted with the instrument for over 20 years, but it, that's not to say that I've actually studied it and practiced it and consistently played it over 20 years so what like made you what made you write a song the first time you wrote a song that you knew you were gonna sing what made you write that song what made you think that you could be a songwriter um, it was a it's about four or five years ago um, I was in a weird place I had just moved back to New England I was going to school out in California mm -hmm. and uh, it wasn't a fortuitous endeavor. So I was coming back with not a whole lot of um, real direction or anything to 
go with, and I wrote this song, and it was called "You'll Find Your Way." And nice. that was it. Was it was something that just was to get out of a dark place, and I started to. That's what started me to start writing songs. So and that was just that was a few years ago, and uh, it's a really cheesy song. <laughs> It's cheesy so, songs. It's so cheesy. Cheesy <laughs> songs can sometimes be the best songs, though. So, sometimes, I guess. Well, they make people think about their emotions, and people that don't know how to put a name to their emotions allow people like you to give us a name. You know what I mean? And that's a good thing. Um, where are some of the places that you've played out? Because you just said to me that you've played out, that you've been playing out? Where are some of the um, places you I started played? playing out in Central Mass around like the Worcester area. Um, and then uh, when I moved down to, I live in Pawkatuck now. Okay. Uh, I've been here for a little over three years. And um, so I played around there, played like the, the Knickerbocker. And, like, um, nice, I was just there Sunday. Yeah, they've, yeah. They're, it's like the only place in Westerly that's booking live music right now because of everything that's going on. It's right. insane. Because um, it used to be all over the place. Um, I played out in, um, I play a lot in Narragansett a lot, um, play out in Lyme very frequently. So around like Southern Connecticut, Southern Rhode Island and uh, up in Providence and like Smithfield, like that area. So like North Providence to sort of like a, yeah, like that L. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of, yeah. absolutely. And then I still go up to Central Mass and I'll still get gigs in Central Mass because I just, I know people there. So I just right. played a couple of them. Um, uh, on Monday, I, I, I booked two, um, two private parties up in uh, one of the, up in my hometown, and then the other one was uh, back down, um, back down here. So. Is there a place on social media that people can find you? Uh, yeah, my Facebook page is uh, Kyle Fleming Music or at Kyle Fleming Music, I think. Yeah. And hold on, is it? At Kyle Fleming Music, I'm sure that's what it is. Kyle yes. Fleming Music. Yes, Facebook.com slash Kyle Fleming Music. Um, yeah, I'm not, and then I have, my, you, you can't, you need 100 subscribers to get a custom YouTube thing, so I don't have that yet, so my YouTube is like something ridiculous, but. It, yeah, mine too, mine too, but if you type in Grandma's Attic Music Review, you get a G. A brown. Yeah, I have like a logo. Yeah, I have a logo. It has like a KF, and like it shows up. It's just like it just. It's hard to, you know. Like I put it on my business card, and I have like a just this really long, ridiculous thing. like yeah. URL. I, I just tell like, people to go there yeah. because it's crazy, right? So um, this show will actually, after it airs, it will go up on YouTube in my channel. But you can steal it and put it on your channel too. Okay. So, because you're going to have a DVD of the show after we're done. But anyway, when you're writing a song, does the music come first or do the words come first? Most of the time, the music does. Um, really? Yeah. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll come up with a riff or something uh, that I like or that like evokes a certain thought. And then I'll just end up with a whole, it's like a rabbit hole sometimes. I'll end up with like just a whole collection of riffs that don't have words. And then something will happen that will trigger a response that will make me want to write. And I'll pick the riff that goes with that feeling the okay. best. And that's sort of how I tend to structure them. There's a couple of exceptions, but that's, that's usually how it ends up happening. Wow. Do you sit down and like make yourself write songs or do the songs just, the words just come to you? It's a little bit of, it's a little bit of both. It depends on how insane the experience was that led me to write the song. Okay. Um, like I have one that, like sometimes they just fall out out of nowhere because you're just, it's the only way that you know how to like. Process a thought. Figure out reality. Right. And I get that. So you just, and then sometimes you just like I have another tune that. I've had, I had tunes that I like. I'd, I'd be up at like four or five in the morning, and I'll just be like, I need to finish a song, so I'll spend like four hours on something, and then I'll just like hammer it in, and then it'll it'll work. So it, it's a very it's never usually like an easy process. I've noticed that it's okay. never like <laughs> it's some people. I don't know how some people can well, just like giving birth is an, an easy process. I know. <laughs> That's what it's. I'm just telling you. <laughs> don't you feel like? your songs are like your children? Don't you feel like your songs are something that are yours? Like 
maybe not like children because you're not a woman, maybe you don't get it, but <laughs> but don't you feel like... You don't know what I identify as. Oh, I don't. I didn't ask you your pronouns. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm I just identify kidding. No, as she, her, so you I'm, can I'm, identify I'm as him. they, That's them, okay. yeah. he, him, binary, non-binary. No, I don't I care just, what people to identify as. I know. I don't either. I just, I just wanted to make the joke. That was funny. Yeah, I'm taking a class called the <laughs> LBGTQ experience, and we have to identify. So I got up in front of the class and over-identified. Never mind. That's anyway, okay. that's a whole nother conversation <laughs> for a whole nother show. Never mind. So, <laughs> wow, I don't. You're right. And that's, yeah. Okay, let's talk about music. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's because that's what I want to talk about is yeah. music. That's what I brought you here for. How did you hear about Don't Pass the Guitar Again? Who told you about Don't, don't Pass the Guitar Again? Uh, they, they've been hosting it in Westerly, so it's... Joe Glennon. Yeah, and I can I can walk there from my apartment where they hosted at the at the Christchurch. So yeah, like, and I always just I, I've just I'm not I'm I'm still a relatively unknown commodity, so I'm not plugged into the not anymore. As much as Guys, this is Kyle Fleming. Check him out. He's all over the place. We're gonna make sure he gets known because <laughs> he's good. So um, we'll make sure that Joe gets your information if you haven't already connected with him. I will make sure that he gets your okay. information. Um, he's he's a friend of mine, and so yeah. So there is the pass the pass the guitar in Westerly, and there's the don't pass the guitar again. Here yeah. it was last weekend. Anyway, it was, and um, I have already sent a message to Hugh Birdsall. Hugh Birdsall is the person that put together the first pass the guitar. And he now has your name okay. for the next one. Okay. So don't be surprised okay. <laughs> because that's what we do. So if you could set up the perfect gig, what would it be and where? It would be at a place that is closed now. Okay. Um, there's this place in Southbridge called Starlight that... Um, I used to go to all the time, and it was it was just always a really fun, amazing atmosphere. I played gigs there before, and um, just one of those places where you never had a bad experience, and you just have, you know, and then um, you know, I guess, and then making music with people that are also really amazing, who make you want to make more music and uh, I don't know I, um, and it's always cool when you get people to this doesn't happen very often but it's like it's always cool like if you're at a bar or someplace where the music is not the primary focus mm -hmm. where everyone's sort of like off doing their own thing and they're um, you know there are people aren't at bars normally to listen they're there to drink and yeah they're there to, pool they're there to forget the world right so it, um, sometimes so you can have like an effect where everyone can like come up and then you, you have people that come and like actually just see what's happening and like listening to it and you have that organic moment of just everybody collectively engaging in this one thing. It's, it's, it's really, really Which cool. Which just happens, happens to be a song of yours. Even if it's not your song, it's just like if just the fact that like anyone can generate something like that is always just really amazing because it's just there's there's nothing quite like it. it it's when it happens like you don't expect it to happen so like when it happens it's just the most amazing feeling ever i don't know well i think you're amazing i think your music is amazing and um what happens when we do this show even when it does have foo pas like it's said today <laughs> oh my gosh what happens is we run out of time so what I would ask from you is could you please take off your microphone and go back and take us out with one last song? Yep. I would be so blessed to have you do that. Okay. Thank you so much for coming to The Attic. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We will have you back again. I guarantee that's going to happen. So while Kyle is getting set up, let me remind you that the cold months are coming in. If you have neighbors that have children, Make sure those kids got socks on their feet and shoes on their feet and jackets or at least heavy sweaters. And 
make sure if you have elderly neighbors that they have heat you know check on your neighbors smile at a friend smile at someone that's not a friend pass on the good news all right i thank you all so much for tuning in to grandma's attic music review i'll see you next week bye all right <coughs> This is, uh, this is the second song I ever wrote. Um, it's slightly <coughs> less cheesy. Uh, this is a song called Letting Go. <laughs>
that used to be there, but I made them. 